this is what ivory soap looks like it's only a dollar for three bars of soap what you're gonna find out about this soap it's really light and like let's break it you see it's almost like cream so let's put it in a microwave and let's see what happens so we're gonna put this bar of soap right here and then close it and let's see what happens you see the soap becomes alive look how crazy is that Isn't it insane? Why is it happening? Pretty much every soap is actually have a lot of air holes over there like air spots so that's why air heats up and expands that's why like you know ivory soap is just blowing up like that because it have a lot a lot a lot of air inside of the bar of soap like like I mean air bubbles and so once we heat it up heat it up the air is expanding air bubbles and that's what happening with the soap pretty insane huh smells like soap definitely all right we're gonna turn it off and let's see what happens look we have a lot of cream over here a lot of it all right and if we touch it look it just expanded soap it's pretty warm so be careful let it cool off but yeah you see it was just air inside of it that's why and this oh yeah if we microwave it longer it would have expanded even more you see this the main part of the soap but you can still wash hands with that but yeah it's pretty cool experiments what do you guys think? first thing we're going to need to do is crush the dry ice next what i'm going to do is plug the sink Plug it up and fill it up with hot water. After it's almost full, we're gonna grab all this dry ice, about two pounds, and put it inside of the water. And let's see what happens. How cool is this? Check this out. Waterfall of smoke. What do you think, Alex? Oh my god. Isn't what it amazing? I walked in at the best time. I know. <laughs> this is the dry ice experiment. So as you can see, this smoke is cold. That's why it's going down, not up. How fun is this? That wasn't as good. Was good. Dude, try to lay down. Let's see if I can see you or not. Lay down on the floor. Like all the way flat. <laughs> wow, you disappeared. Oh my god, you almost cannot see you. Just stay there for a minute. Wow, I cannot see you. I just see the pencil a little. <laughs> can you, could you breathe there? Oh my breath. Yeah, no, you can breathe, but you're just breathing like not good stuff. Oh, no, it's it's okay. You, you can do that. <laughs> Look at this, guys. You walk in. As you can see, I have four pieces of neodymium magnet and they stuck together and i have a small plate very very tiny plate of a graphite so what i'm gonna do is put the magnets flat and put graphite on top of it and let's see what happens so i'm gonna put graphite on top of magnets and look what happening it's actually levitates you see how graphite levitates there without touching and when I move it, it's like bouncing right there.
Pretty cool, huh? Gonna grab graphite and put it on the top. You see it slides off. You gotta be careful. Check this out. It's just floating there up in the air. If I blow on it, you see how it's floating there? But the crazy thing is, look, it's not magnetic whatsoever. And you see, it's magnetized very well. Not the graphite. How is it possible? Why is it pushing it out and levitates whenever it's on top of a magnet? For sure, one of the coolest experiments out there. I just don't want to stop playing with it because it's unbelievable how it's levitating. I have a hammer. Look, it's going to be funny. First, we're going to make a hole. You do it. I'll hold. Don't I? Yeah. There we go. We made a hole, right? I want to find out. As you can oh, see, the light hit in my it. hand. Right in there. Because the refraction, the light following the water. You see what I'm saying? How cool is that? Stack up the pringles so they would become a circle like that. Alright, let's try it and let's see if I can do it or not. So the idea is start stacking these chips like something like that. So you see how they're creating like a circle away and the whole idea is build it all the way so they touch it on top. It seems impossible but let's see if I can figure it out how to do it. It's not that easy at all. You see, it wasn't heavy enough in the middle, so it fell apart. I'm going to try this again. Definitely thinking this is have to be like that. Oh no, oh no, do not drop. It's a little crooked even. I don't know how they hold it.